Welcome to the section on Workspace Advanced. We spent enough time poking around Cognos and learning Cognos connection, so let's actually start doing the fun stuff, which is building reports. In this section, we're going to learn navigating around Workspace Advanced. We're going to learn the building blocks, such as selecting a package and adding data. We're going to add some filters and groups to our data. And if we don't see what we need, we're going to build some custom fields. And finally, we're going to do some formatting and exporting, get that report ready for presentation and out to consumers, so that way they can start using the report. Okay, so let's jump right into navigating Workspace Advanced. From the public folders, to access Workspace Advanced, I'm going to go ahead and click on Launch and Workspace Advanced. This is going to launch into a page where it requests me to select a package. A package is a series of metadata which tells Cognos what fields are available to use for a particular report. If you've never used Workspace Advanced, the recently used packages is going to be empty. So what we'll do is we're going to go in here to Samples, Models, and we're going to select a package. I'm going to use Go Sales Analysis, and again, you can tell a package is actually a package by the icon to the left of it. It'll take a second or two to load Workspace Advanced. Now it's going to ask me, do I want to create a new report or open an existing report? I'm going to go ahead and create a new report. And now it's going to say, do you want a blank page? Do you want a list report or a crosstab? Most of the time I use list reports, but in the case wherever I want dynamic columns and dynamic rows, then I would choose a crosstab. For this example, we're just going to select a list report, and we can always choose that later. So this main area here is your actual workspace. You can see some of the icons you're, you may be familiar with from other applications, such as New, Open, Save, Copy, and Paste. And again, if you mouse over an icon you're not sure what it is, it's going to give you a little tool tip. For example, Paste Item You Cut or Copied. The little Play button is how you run the report. And if you click on the drop down, this is where you can select different run options, such as send the report to Excel. If you want to create filters, you can click on the filter op icon. And if you click on the drop down next to it, you can edit existing filters. You can suppress your data. You can sort your data. You can create sums, totals, aggregates, or counts, or even averages. You can create calculations, change your formatting. And you can also group your data and ungroup your data through these various other icons. This last one here, this is Charts, so you can insert a chart into your report. And if we go up here to the menu structure, and we click that drop down, you'll see that we have the same icons as down below, but in a vertical format. So you can see a lot of this is redundant, and you can actually turn off the toolbars if you want to save a little real estate on your screen. Don't forget, all of your options up here are all under the different menus. I like the actual visual toolbars, so I'm going to go ahead and select those again. Over on the right hand side, we have our source area, and each time and you can open or expand one of these various namespaces to show you a, a number of different tables which are available to you. The namespace is simply the icon of two tables joined to a third one. The next option is your toolbox. Toolbox allows you to insert text items, tables, additional lists, cross tabs, or even a chart. So you can have a a summary chart which shows the numeric values for your particular data that you're reporting against. And you can also include a chart as well for the people that like visual data. Each object in Cognos, and you may get an error depending on what browser you're using. I'm using Internet Explorer, which sometimes throws errors. Each object in a report has its own properties. And the properties area is down below. So if I were to expand this a little bit, you can see this is where I can select a different data format. So if I'm working with a number, I can select how many decimal places I want to have, or if I want to show the thousand separators, a comma, or a period. I can put borders around fields or values. I can pad, value, I can pad fields to have a little extra space in between them. Change colors, change fonts, change alignment, and even if I want to show white space. And again, this is just the properties for a list column title. Now, if I were to actually change to a different part of the object, in this case, the list column body, you can assign different properties for that part of the object. This right here is how you navigate around workspace. It's pretty easy. You can always toggle back to the source or back to the toolbox by clicking these tabs. And down below, you do have some options there in the report page already as part of the Cognos template.